Mr Ben Bradshaw. In response to a question from the Honourable Member for Filton and Bradley Stoke earlier, that if there were further evidence of the use of chemical weapons, he hoped, he hoped we would not stand idly by. So why are we standing idly by while civilians in their hundreds are being slaughtered now in fragrant ble- breach of a binding United Nations resolution? I, I, I don't believe, Mr Speaker, that uh, we are standing idly by. And I think to say that we are standing idly by is to do grave disservice to the work of uh, many, many hundreds of British people working in the, uh, for the Department of National Development, who are working uh, in our military, who are doing all sorts of things uh, at, a, at a, a budget of about two and a half billion pounds, where the second biggest contributor to humanitarian relief in that theatre. To say we're doing nothing is, I think, a grave, grave disservice to the efforts of this country. Uh, But if he is seriously advocating military intervention, which seems to be the the position that is being taken now by the Honourable Lady from Walthamstow, uh, I think that they need to be—I think that they need to be clear about what they are about what they are advocating. Because I I, I have to say to the House that the last time it was seriously proposed. Uh, A very modest proposal was put to the House, uh, and the House rejected it. If if it is the view of the Labour benches that now now they would actually support military action, and there's an awful lot of racket they're making, but I'm asking them a serious question, If 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 it is their view that they would support military action in Syria, then I think that they should be explicit about that, because they're, they're chuntering away at me and, and, and accusing the UK of not doing anything in a way that I think is gravely dis- disrespectful to the huge efforts that are being made by this government. 